health news tonight, a false positive for a birth defect is more common than, than you might think. There is now a prenatal test to try to ease the minds of pregnant women. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa is here to tell us more about the non-invasive test designed for a number of chromosomal conditions like Down syndrome. That's right. Ann and Darren, there are screening tests to figure out a baby's risk for birth defects. If the risk is high, then a diagnostic test follows, for example, amnio, but that can put the pregnancy at risk. Well, this new test alleviates all that worry. 21 weeks and counting until Monica Jekyll gives birth to her first baby, but it has not been stress-free. We, to be honest with you, we were so caught off guard that we were just really hoping for the best. A screening showed her baby was at risk for Down syndrome. In the back of our minds, we just kept thinking, this baby is healthy. We, we just have to keep thinking that way, that this baby is healthy and everything is going to be fine. Lucky for Monica, a non-invasive test for chromosomal abnormalities is now available. It begins with drawing blood from the mother. They look at the DNA of the baby in the maternal blood and they're able to tell whether how many copies of uh, chromosome 18, 13, and 21 are present in the baby. Dr. Mary Beth Janicki at St. Francis Hospital specializes in high-risk pregnancies. It's really a game changer in our field, um, allowing us to give information about a pregnancy to a woman without putting the pregnancy at risk. It also eliminates false positives. That if we tell you that the baby doesn't have Down syndrome with this test, then the baby doesn't have Down syndrome. If we tell you that the baby does have Down syndrome, the baby does. We recommend, though, that that be verified, and the, and the company does as well. I couldn't see any reason why I wouldn't have the test, just for my peace of mind. Monica got positive results. Yes, I can feel the baby kicking. I can feel it moving around. And has peace of mind. <laughs> the test also detects two other birth defects, including Edwards syndrome. Dr. Janicki says while it can give a lot of reassurances, the test does not assess other problems the baby might have. For more information, log on to WTNH.com.